Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the first quest in Polar Opposites. That's the latest variant, Variant 3, to enter the contest. Now, you can see the team that I decided to go in here with, Sentinel, Ghost, Wasp, The Hood, and Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. I believe this was my best team. I used that team throughout the entire quest. All right. Now, the first thing we're doing here is we're going to try to find out which path is the easiest path to do. That's one of the goals of this video. I want to show you guys the easiest path to take for your initial completion. Now, normally you can take a look at the chests on the path, like this path here has a one star chest. That usually indicates that this path has the least amount of difficulty. But that is not always the case. And we'll see that in some of the subsequent chapters. All right. But in this quest, I believe that that path is actually the easiest. And so that's the one that we will be taking. Now, I want to talk about the global nodes. The global nodes for this variant are awesome for tech champions. All right. Now, we have Apex Manufacture composite construction stack overflow and overclock apex manufacture sentinel gains analysis charges at twice the normal rate and his attacks will deal one percent additional true damage per charge sentinel gets a max of 100 analysis charges so that's one percent per charge so a hundred percent more true damage so it effectively doubles his damage and makes him a true beast for this quest. All right. Now, composite construction. All tech champions in this fight are immune to ability accuracy modification. That is huge. You have some magnetos. You have a domino that you'll have to deal with. Ghost, when she goes up against Magneto normally, her phasing is unreliable because he magnetizes her and so sometimes you'll dash back and your phase will work sometimes it will not but here it always will because she cannot have her abilities reduced Starkey is the same way when he goes up against Magneto he doesn't have to worry about it but more importantly when he fights a domino he no longer has to worry about uh, her critical failures and that sort of thing. So that is very nice, at least for his abilities. So I love it. This particular variant makes tech champions gods. I love it. Everyone has tech champions. All right. And we'll talk a little bit more about some of your options. Now, Stack Overflow, each additional tech champion on the attacker's team increases the duration of their debuffs by 10%. That can be huge. You can build a team of, say, all tech champions and have Star uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced on the team. And that will extend his debuff. He has a guaranteed stun on his special one. That can allow you to do some a lot of fun things. You know, it might not be a complete stun locking, but it'll be huge. And if you're not running suicides, that can make a lot of these quests very easy because once you, you know, your power gets to the point where you can only do a single uh, special one and you're not going to be able to build up to another special one, then what you do there is fire off his heavy after that last stun, which drains his power. Then you bait out a special and then you do it again. So very useful. Uh, you can also bring in Miles Morales, even though he's not a tech champion, he adds to Spider-Man Stark Enhance's uh, debuff duration, that stun duration. So lots of options. And the final one is Overclocked, which basically reduces the attack of any non-tech champion you bring in here by 50%. That does not mean that you cannot use non-tech champions. You can boost that will compensate a little for that or just use 
very powerful champions like Hyperion. Hyperion still does a very good job uh, in this quest. And he's great for certain bosses. So don't think that just because it gives a lot of advantages to tech champions that you can't use non-tech. You can. And what if you don't have a high-ranking Sentinel or Ghost? Four stars, thanks to that uh, global Apex manufacturer, you can still use a four-star Sentinel, for example, and he will still be very good uh, in this quest. Um, if you don't have good tech champions, even as four stars, like I said, you can still use non-tech champions. So, overall, I actually loved this variant. It is definitely by far the most fun. Now, the reason is because, let's take a, a little walk down memory lane. Variant 1, you had the class restrictions. So if you didn't have the right class ranked up, you had a bad time in Variant 1. I ended up spending, I think, a little over 4,000 units for Variant 1. Now, I didn't have to. I just wanted to get it done. But it does give you an idea of the difficulty. Now, Variant 2 was far easier. You had no class restrictions, but you did have sort of a size advantage, disadvantage thing. And what happened there is if you didn't have champions that were extra large ranked up, then you had to parry heavy for pretty much the entire quest. But you could do it at least, and that's what I ended up doing. Not as fun as if I could have brought in a lot of extra large champions, but I got it done, and I think I used a little over a thousand units. This quest, or this uh, variant, I used no units. And I'm talking about full exploration. I used no units, and I think I used maybe uh, five revives. And uh, you saw what happened there to me uh, with that uh, Punisher. I kind of laughed when that happened to me. I forgot about his signature ability and went ham on him with Starkey. And he endured, got to his special three, and wrecked me. That was completely my fault. Uh, but it was still funny. And, I, you know, I brought him out because I was like, I don't want to do this with just ghosts. Let me get a little uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced action. He is one of my favorite champions to fight with. But, yeah, that one was all me. Uh, but in any case, so this variant, uh, I have the right champions, the ones that get all the benefits, ranked up. I just recently took my Sentinel to rank 5. I didn't know anything about the variant globals. Now, you see here I'm fighting Killmonger with Sentinel. Killmonger has that reverberation that you can disable when you get an armor break on him. Now, you saw early in the fight, I was hitting into his block a lot. That was to build up the analysis charges as fast as I know how, because my Sentinel is not awakened. So I can't build it up the way that I would if he were awakened. But thanks to the global Apex manufacturer, I still built up those charges very quickly. All right, and now that he's at 100% uh, analysis, you can see he's doing some work. But notice the damage that he's taking. Sentinel, just look at that. You do not want to take blocked hits. These guys are cranked up. They have a lot of attack. So you want to avoid taking blocked hits. Parry them, uh, evade, intercept, but don't take a lot of blocked hits. And if you have a, a four-star, it's even more important, all right? Um, Sentinel is a true tank when he has 100% analysis, and you saw what happened. All right, so we're here at the boss. We've got Flux Dispersal, which is the main thing you have to be worried about. And, you know, the other ones, uh, Limber, Enhanced Special 2, Oscillate, they're annoying. But the main thing that you want to do with this Magneto, each time you hit him, 
he's going to get those stacks that you see there and you want to fire off a heavy to reset them so I wanted to just play around with wasp here and you can see that they keep resetting because I keep firing off her heavy now the reason I went in here with wasp this is one of the things that I like to do uh, when I do initial clears I will go in with my lesser champions on my team because I know that Sentinel and Ghost are going to be great for this. So I don't want to use them right off. I'll go through my other champions and just have a little fun. And the more health that I can take away, the better. It's less work for them. Okay? So I didn't play all that well with Wasp. Uh, I'm still getting used to fighting with her. But she did her job. She took off quite a bit of health. Okay? She's rank 4. And she's a non-tech champion. So her damage was reduced. I'm not boosting here at all. Now, if you're running four stars, I recommend that you boost. If you have a four star ghost or a four star sentinel, use those tech boosts. The 200 or 150 power uh, boost and the attack boost are great. I did that for, I think, two chapters. Um, I boosted twice. Uh, for two chapters when I was doing exploration, but I did not boost during the initial clear. All right, so here you see I'm fighting with Hood, and again, non-tech champion, so his damage is cut in half. And then here, he had the max charges, so you saw I wasn't doing any damage. Fired off a heavy, now I'm doing damage again. You know, if you can call that damage. All right, but I don't like long fights. So what ends up happening is, uh, after I get bored, I'm just going to push him to a special three and basically commit suicide. All right. So I'm sitting here. I'm looking at the health. And right here, I'm just like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and go at it. Okay. Now, while he's on cooldown for his invisibility, you see he has a power steal. And I could have kept hitting him there. But instead, I said, let me just do the special two, get as much damage as that's going to do and then end it so we can wrap this up because now I'm pretty sure I have a good feel for the fight and I know what needs to be done so now we're gonna bring in Ghost and I'm gonna show you how you wanna fight this Magneto with Ghost alright so every time you're hitting him look at the crits you see how I got 9k crits and look how they're going down they're going down as those charges go up so to reset that, you want to fire off a heavy. So this here was kind of a waste. I didn't know it at the time, but what I should do is after I build up to a special two, fire a heavy, then fire the special two so that you can do as much damage as possible. Uh, I did that in subsequent runs, but not for this first run because I was still learning it. Okay, but that's what I would recommend you guys do. All right, so see here, I should have gotten rid of those stacks first, but I'm almost programmed. As soon as I get that special two, I wanna fire it off. So this fight could have been over by now uh, if I had followed that particular strategy as I'm uh, describing to you. But Ghost is still great. I still had Sentinel waiting, but he never needed to come out of the shadows. So that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully this helps you guys out in your initial run. Feel free to leave a comment below and let me know how you did. Click like, subscribe, and just let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.